Yo, what's poppin' guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make a working clock system in Scratch. You can see it works perfectly fine. Uh, we have hours, minutes, seconds, the half, or AM or PM, and then time. And then you see it matches my time in the corner too. You probably just saw it change. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get into it. Alright, so once you're in your area, you're gonna go ahead and first of all delete the little cat man that we already did. Name your project gonna call it clock tutorial and we are going to start very basic system I'm going to run you through it so let's go first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're going to want to create a few variables <coughs> it's not necessary to have a sprite so make the variable hour one minute one second one half and one time now that you have all these up let's create the system first thing you're going to want to do is grab a um, green flag click I zoom in because some people say the videos are blurry and hard to read so I do this then grab yourself an if else grab yourself an or statement and place that right in the center just like that while you're in here go ahead and grab yourself a greater than symbol and an equal symbol. Change this second 50 to a 0 and this one to a 12. Go to sensing and grab current year and just change it to current hour. Put it on both sides. Then you're going to want to grab a set hour. Go to operators and grab your ABS or ABS, however you pronounce it, however you want to say it. Grab yourself a minus, put a 12 in the, in the back, and then grab another current hour, just like that. Then in this else, you're just going to want to grab another set hour, and you're going to set hour to current hour. Now, you should see that your hour is already set to the actual hour that it is on your PC. Time for the next part. Next, you're going to grab another if else oh, wrong spot and in this one you're gonna grab a less than symbol you know put it right there you can duplicate that current hour and change it to a current minute set this number to 10 go ahead take set put that there set minute give yourself a join make apple a zero and set the other one to current minute or else set minute to current minute or sorry no yeah set current minute current minute now you should see that your minutes the same as your mirrored on your mirror minute on your computer time for the next part grab yourself another if then if else and put it underneath grab yourself a less than symbol put a 10 on this side and put a second on the other side. Oh, oops, sorry. I meant current second. I'm sorry. <clears throat> current second. Now that you've done that, go ahead and grab a set second. All right. Then you can take this join and change this minute to a second. Still keeping the front one a zero. Then you can copy this, change the minute to second, change this minute to second. Now you should see that your second is constantly going up and is staying true to your clock. I'm gonna stop it now though, and round to the next part. Grab yourself another if else, and put it underneath. Grab yourself a greater, not a greater than, a less than symbol. Set this number to 12, and put current hour underneath, or on the other side. Get a set half, Set the first one to a dot m dot or am. Take the other one. Set it to pm. You should now see that your half should be pm, and so is mine. Now to set up the time, which is just add all these together. Here's how you're gonna do that one. Right underneath all of it, right here, you're going to set time, and you're gonna get a whole bunch of joins. You're gonna get six exactly. One, two, three. Four, oh, five, 
six, just like that. You're gonna put your hour here, your minute here, your second here, and your half here. In this area, put a space, not nothing, a space. And on this one, you're gonna put a space, colon, space. And this one, a space, colon, space. And that's all. And I'll see what happens when we click the green flag. Boom. Everything is keeping up here. You see we have our seconds, which are keeping up with this. Seven, plugged in, 47 plugged in, 40, whatever it is, plugged in, and PM plugged in. If you look, the same time as our normal thing. Let's watch a switch. Watch the time. Second turns to 48. In a few seconds, <laughs> forty-eight. Check down there. Look at that. It's forty-eight. It's a little. It's a. Uh, it's a little bit quicker than your than your actual one. It's about like a second quicker. No, not even a second. Like a uh, zero point five seconds quick quicker than your actual time. But hey, still, you got a working clock. You could use that for whatever kind of systems you want to use it on. I don't know. You go crazy, man. Maybe you want to have like a day-night cycle. For example, let's come into here. And let's make a day. Um, da, 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 da. Boom, this will be day. And then we'll have a super dark for a night. And that's night. Then you could do uh, when the green flag clicked forever if equals a dot m dot if half equals am why am i grabbing a variable set backdrop to backdrop one or else set it backdrop two so let's say you have it set to one i'll check if it's pm it'll set it to the night let's see look at that but if it was day, it'd set it to the blue one. And when it turns day, which obviously I can't sit here and wait for, it'll change blue. So yeah, that's all I have for you for this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because it was a quick little video. I thought it'd be interesting. Definitely go, go check out the Scratch Wiki. That's where I get a lot of my research for these. Um, go ahead and join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, according to YouTube, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So why don't you go down there, just hit the subscribe button. Super quick, it's free, and you can always hit the subscribe whenever you want. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.